Tonight, Google may spin Google Plus photos out of the social network, HTC could launch their first Windows phone, and Microsoft is suing Samsung. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, episode 142 for Friday, August 1st, 2014. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by NatureBox. Order great tasting, healthy snacks delivered right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape with healthy, delicious treats like golden apple tea biscuits. To get 50% off your first box, go to naturebox.com slash twit. I'm Mike Elgin. Let's get right to the tech feed. Bloomberg is reporting that Google plans to offer the popular photo editing tools in Google Plus separately from the social network, allowing non-members to take advantage of the photo service without signing up for a Google Plus account. The standalone service could be called Google Plus Photos or it could be rebranded as something else. Bloomberg said that photo features could still be accessible from inside Google Plus. The change is viewed as a part of a new direction for Google Plus after the departure of former social chief Vic Gondotra. Google Plus Photos offers a range of unique features, including the automatic editing of photos to create animated GIFs and general Photoshop-like improvements without any action by the user. A photo leaked to PC Mag suggests that HTC will launch a Windows Phone version of the HTC One handset at an August 19th press event in New York City. The picture was found on the Verizon Wireless website, which implies that the carrier is getting ready to offer the phone to customers. HTC promised two years ago to go big on Windows Phone, but a change in strategy had the company focusing on the HTC One line of handsets, which so far have run only Android. Apple's $3 billion acquisition of Beats Electronics is now a done deal. Apple posted a message on its website today welcoming the Beats team. We also learned today that Ian Rogers, the former head of Beats Music, will now run I Apple's iTunes radio, according to Wall Street Journal sources. Rogers will also continue to run Beats Music. He's going to be a busy guy. Well, Microsoft is suing Samsung, according to a post by Mary Jo Foley on ZDNet. The dispute is over a 2011 contract between the two companies for Samsung to pay royalties to Microsoft for Android-based phones and tablets. Android violates some Microsoft patents, and such royalties are common, but when Microsoft bought Nokia's handset and services business, Samsung stopped paying the royalties, saying the acquisition invalidated the contract. Microsoft wants a court to take sides in the dispute and also extract unpaid interest from Samsung from when Samsung withheld the payments. Mary Jo Foley is also a host of TWIT's Windows Weekly Show Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Pacific right here on the TWIT Network. Unlocking your smartphone is now legal in the United States. President Barack Obama today signed the Unlocking Consumer Choice and Wireless Competition Act, which restores a copyright exemption that allows customers to change phone firmware to unlock them from being restricted to a single carrier. The president acted in response to an official online petition that collected more than 100,000 signatures in favor of legalizing unlocking. Unfortunately, the exemption is temporary. Every three, every three years, the Librarian of Congress has to revisit the issue and make the decision all over again. Well, coming up, Flappy Bird is back, and you won't believe where. And next, I'll talk with Liam Spaulding of Android Police about Google's plans for Nexus customization. But first, let's talk about the easiest and healthiest way to snack. It's called NatureBox, the sponsor of this episode of Tech News Tonight. NatureBox is a healthy snack subscription service that sends great tasting snacks right to your door with free shipping anywhere in the U.S. NatureBox snacks have zero trans fats, zero high fructose corn syrup, and nothing artificial. Here's how NatureBox works. Visit naturebox.com slash twit, click on the continue button, and simply choose between three subscription options. Then place your order. Once you're a member, you can select which snacks you'd like in your monthly box. You can select by dietary needs like vegan or soy-free, and by taste, such as savory, sweet, or spicy. Snack guilt-free with agave citrus granola, unami roasted nuts, and more than 100 more healthy choices. So next time you're hungry, reach for NatureBox. To get 50% off your first box, go to naturebox.com twit. And we thank NatureBox for their support of Tech News Tonight. Well, Google is reportedly planning a customization service for Nexus phones. The story is based on leaked screenshots of the service obtained by Android Police's Liam Spaldron. Uh, Liam joins us now to talk about it. Welcome, Liam. Hi, how's it going? Great. So can you tell us about this customization service and what it's called and how it might work? 
Sure. Uh, right now, the service is being referred to as Workshop. Um, as with any unreleased feature, uh, we can't really be certain that that's the name it'll debut with, but that's what it's being referred to right now. Um, essentially, it would work just like buying any other product from the Play Store. A user would go in, but they would have special tools that Google has created to aid in customizing not just a case for your phone, but also a live wallpaper that you would be able to download as well. Interesting. Now, you wrote that the customization is centered around something called Map Me and something called Moments. What are these options exactly? So these are the two tools that Google has appeared to have developed so far for the service. Um, the first one, Map Me, is based on locations. So you would choose a location that's special to you, so where you met someone or where you were born or something like that. And that would become the basis for the design of your case and live wallpaper. Um, you can add quotes to the back of the case, and then the live wallpaper you can choose to receive location-specific tweets or weather or other information um, that you can interact with on your actual screen. And then uh, as far as moments, that's more photo oriented. So you would be able to either upload photos or uh, choose albums from Google Plus uh, to design your case. Then you can select some preset filters. Uh, and then the live wallpaper would basically be kind of like a photo table kind of thing that would cycle through the rest of your images. Hmm, interesting. Now, how, how solid are these plans? I mean, do you have a sense of when Google might actually make these options available? Um, unfortunately, we don't know when they'll make them available. We are expecting some device launches this fall, so that would be a good time, but we can't really be certain. Uh, the plans do seem pretty solid, though. We have reason to believe that they have the capability in place to produce these cases, um, So, and the interface is pretty fully built out, so it seems pretty solid. Well, it's a nice exclusive you got there. Uh, can you uh, tell everybody where people can read your work? Um, sure, androidpolice.com or um, at Liam Spradlin, pretty much everywhere, every social network. So, yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us on Tech News tonight. All right, thanks for having me. All right. Well, don't look now, but Flappy Bird is back. And this time it's exclusive to the Amazon Fire TV. Six months ago, Flappy Bird rose to the top in mobile game downloads, but Flappy Bird's Vietnamese creator, Dong Nguyen, freaked out about how many people were becoming addicted to the game and pulled it from the app stores. Now, a sequel called Flappy Bird's Family has appeared as a free app in the Amazon App Store, and it's compatible with the Fire TV set-top box exclusively. The new version offers new features such as person-versus-person -person mode and more obstacles, as if we needed more obstacles. The developer of the game, Dot Gears, has another Fire TV game, which is called Super Ball Juggling, and that game's creator is the same guy who made Flappy Bird. Well, that's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. Subscribe to this show at twit.tv slash tn2 and write us at tn2 at twit.tv. And don't miss our morning news program, Tech News Today, every weekday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm Mike Elgin. Thanks for watching. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by cashfly.com.